This is Matthew from BI Polar. In this video, we're going to look at the third of four ways that we can create a new data flow in our Power BI workspace. Let's check it out. All right, so this is the third video where we're looking at creating data flows. In the first two videos, we looked at defining a data flow with new entities using Power Query Online. In the second video, we looked at how we can create a data flow with linked entities from other data flows, either in the same workspace or in other workspaces. And in this video, we're going to see how we can import the definition of a data flow from a CDM model.json folder that we've exported from the Power BI service or created programmatically. Let's take a look. Here we are in our workspace where we have a set of data flows already. To keep things simple, I'm going to come to one of the data flows created for an earlier video, and I'm simply going to choose Export JSON. Every Power BI data flow is backed in Azure storage by what's known as a CDM folder. A CDM folder contains CSV text files for data, and it contains a model.json file that has all of the metadata. What we've just done here is we've exported this JSON file to our hard drive, and we can use this to create a new data flow using the Power BI portal or using the Power BI API. Let's open up the data flow JSON file to take a look at what's inside. So this opens here in uh, Visual Studio Code. I'm going to do some quick, pretty formatting to make it a little bit easier to read. And as we scroll through its contents, we can see that there is basic metadata around the CDM folder itself. There's some Power BI specific metadata around the Power Query mashups or queries that define the entities. And then further down, we have information about each of the entities, their types, and their attributes. The one thing that I want to do here is I want to rename this. You'll see why in a second but I'm going to rename this, I'll save the JSON file, and then I'll come back over into the Power BI portal. Once I'm here, I will choose Create Data Flow, and from the option, I will choose Import Model. This is simpler than the other options that we've chosen. All that I need to do here is to browse to an existing JSON file that conforms to that CDM standard, and when I select it, it will import that metadata and define a new data flow. And here, I can choose to edit the credentials. I'm not going to do this in this video because I'm creating it inside the same workspace and all of my credential information is cached. But if you are using this to go between workspaces or between tenants, you may need to manually edit the credentials before you can refresh the data flow. Here I will come back to my list of data flows and you can see that now we have this new one, 304. You'll notice that it has not been refreshed, but I can choose to refresh it. And because it is just another data flow, I can come in and use Power Query Online to extend it and enhance the entities that it contains. All right, in this video, we've looked at the third available option to create a new data flow in Power BI. I hope you come back for the next one. We'll see you then.